everybody, we're returning to a region east of Asimov on Mars. We have discovered artifacts that look like obelisks, megaliths and disks. This will be part one of two, so let's get cracking on. We're returning to this JP2 photograph where I discovered these two strange objects that looked like craft or maybe vehicles or some type of technology. And the one on the right reminds me of the rock ship of Masuda in Japan. And there's another strange craft like anomaly that I found that looks like the Millennium Falcon or the Baltic Sea anomaly. So check out that video when you get a chance. We're continuing with the analysis of this high rise photograph called proposed MSL site in southern mid latitude craters acquired on the 1st of June 2007 at 25.2 centimeters per pixel. The anomalies were cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file. There's a look at the terrain as featured in the low res black and white JPEG and we're looking at the anomalies scattered throughout this region. The site is located 49.18 degrees south, 14.51 degrees east in that circular depression just to the east of Asimov Crater. Right, the first two anomalies right there in the center of this image. We've got two triangular objects. The larger one is about 10 meters long and about 5 meters wide and it's got this strange obelisk shape to it. There's another wedge-shaped object over there and it reminds me of uh, some other examples. These are more obelisk type anomalies that are discovered on Mars. This is from the usual Neolithic suspects in Moreau. Also this triangular object looks like another obelisk and there's another one from part 3 the Sidonian Neolithic artists and builders of Mars. And you can find uh, these videos by searching for those names. And these are the original JP2s from which I cropped those anomalies. The other anomaly right there, this huge disk, seems to have crashed here into the surface. And it's about 12 meters in diameter get the perfectly rounded disc shape to it and then it's next to this rectangular opening of yeah I wonder if that was uh, some type of opening or hangar who knows what's going on there another disc over there about the same size and uh, it's sticking out of the Martian surface I wonder if that there is some type of uh, hatch or ventilation system. Look at the two openings on either side. Right, another quarter disc over there. That's about six to eight meters across. And uh, it's got a perfect round side, right angle over there and a protrusion on the top. Very similar to those two that are still connected, also have uh, protrusions on them and uh, these two quarter discs are about the same size as that one there. And I feature these two quarter disc shaped objects in part 3, the Sidonian Neolithic artists and builders of Mars. Then we're looking at that megalithic block over there, it's massive about 8 meters wide and about 15 meters long and on top of it we have this hollowed out area with a dome like part in the center and smaller parts arranged in a circular pattern around it like so many others 
that are found on Mars, another very, very common feature on Mars. Right, then we're looking at that strange artifact over there, which is about 10 meters long. And we can see it's got two flat sides over there and a rather dark side of yet to the right. And there's another one like it. And there it is right there, about the same size. And if we zoom in, we can also see a dark side over there to the right. And there they are for you to compare. How uncanny is that matching resemblance right there, folks? We're looking at uh, those blocks over there. And uh, we've got interconnecting parts going on here again. And there's another example I'll show you. Check out that block over there to the top left. It looks like it fits into this larger piece. There's another one. This is from part two alignments and strange objects found near Euripus Mons. We also have a smaller block that fits into a larger piece. Now we're looking at another rectangular block, which is about six by six meters in size. And on top of it, we've got two knobs. We can see it also has a uniform depth to it, as well as straight edges and a right angle right there. Very similar to those blocks found in the ruins of South America. There's another large megalithic block or slab over there which is about 15 meters wide and uh, it's got a triangular piece sticking out of the one side and there's lots more on Mars. I'll show you some more examples. Check out the straight edges and right angle over there. There's another example. This is from strange architecture spotted in Proctor. We also have a triangular piece sticking out of the one side and uh, a right angle over here. There's another one. This is from part three Dolmen's Domes Discs and Blocks spotted in Proctor. Another triangular piece sticking out there and a right angle over here to the one side. Coincidence? I doubt it. Right, then we're looking at those blocks over there. That measures about six by six meters. Also has straight edges and a right angle over there. Many more to come. Check out this block and uh, that strange anomaly over there. We'll check that out too. This block is about eight by eight meters. You can see it's got a uniform depth to it. Right angle right there, folks. Right, then we're looking at that strange piece. It looks like it could be some type of sculpted piece. And it's about 10 by 12 meters in size. Right, another block over there, about 5 by 5 meters in size. You can see two of the very smooth flat sides over there, a right angle over there again, guys and girls. Another block over here, and that strange object over there with this chevron triangular shape on it. We'll check that out too. This block is about 8 meters long and about 5 meters wide. We can see two of the flat sides and a right angle over there. And there they are for you to compare. How often does this occur in nature? Not very often, folks. I don't think nature makes so many blocks in one region. Check that out. Right, then we're looking at that strange triangle on that larger piece. That triangle is about four by four meters in size. And uh, it looks like it's open over here to the bottom. Also has like a, a rounded shape to it. 
don't know what the heck's going on there. There's also a right angle over here. Very strange. Another block over here, that's about six by six meters in size. You can see a right angle over there. This part seems to be carved out. Another right angle over here to the right. And then a hole drilled into it right there. And then another block that's about five by five meters and it looks like it has a rectangular opening in it. Right angle is going on there again. There's a similar one, similar size and also there's a strange rectangular part carved into it on the right hand side. And there the blocks are for you to compare. Again folks, what are the chances of this happening in nature? Are we looking at some obscure geological process or intelligent design? These blocks look manufactured to me. And there's another example of where one of these blocks with a rectangular opening is used in that structure. This is from wreckage piles, structures and debris south of Kuiper. And also it looks like it's on top of another structure. Look at this here. It looks like an opening. And then we've got these two narrow parts arranged in a symmetrical pattern, almost like a welcoming entranceway. Check that out. And then that rock ship of Masuda right there. So I've covered that one in the previous video. Check out this over here. It looks like some type of structure. Lots of uh, rectangles in that piece. That's about uh, 12 by 12 meters in size. And it's got three layers to it. The larger base over there smaller one on top and then these smaller dome-like parts right on the top there. Look at the right angles again and parallel edges. This piece of here looks like some type of rectangular container which measures about 4 by 10 meters in size and uh, you can see two of the sides of here and uh, looks like it's open on the one side. And there's another example. This is from wreckage pile structures and debris south of Kuiper. And that uh, part there is the same size as this one. It also looks like it has an opening and something is uh, sticking out of it over there. And this rectangular object is from anomalies in Cerberus Fosse on Mars. Also have a strange opening over here to the right hand side. This round object over there looks like part of a wheel. And uh, it's about 4 meters by 5 meters in size. Look at the uniform depth to it as well. And uh, it's circular in design. Part of a pillar or sculpted piece, who knows? There's another semi-circular object over there. A bit bigger, this one's about 6 meters across. It's got this rounded shape on the top. Another disc over there, that's about 5 meters across. Very smooth flat surface and it's circular in uh, shape. So there the three are for you to compare. Again we've got some type of similarities between those. Over to smaller parts aligned in geometric patterns on top of larger structures. This one over here is about five by eight meters in size and this one's about 15 meters across. 
So let's check this out. We've got a semi-circular object over there. And uh, next to it, in parallel with this side, we have that uh, long, narrow piece. Looks almost uh, like that was part of an ank, an Egyptian ank. Pieces of it broke off. Don't know what the heck. Who knows what that is? Maybe that there is even uh, an arch or a vent. And then we're looking at that little pyramidal object over there. That's about two by three meters in size. Top of this larger piece. And uh, in front of it, we've got a row of three smaller objects. And uh, they've got equal spacing between them. Also partially raised off the one side. This also looks rather strange, this uh, stepped part of here to the bottom right. Check out these strange objects on that block. That piece is about 10 by 12 meters in size. And I don't know what to make of uh, this of here. Look at this piece. It looks almost like a, a fossil of some type. I don't know what to make of this, guys and girls. Let me know in the comments below what you think that is. We're looking at some type of fossilized thing on top of that block. Okay, there, another disc shaped object and uh, another megalithic piece to the right. That disc is about uh, 10 meters in diameter and it's got a rather weird piece on top of it as well. We'd expect to find a dome. Maybe that's a smashed in dome. Right, then we're looking at that block. That's about uh, 14 to 15 meters across and uh, it's definitely got a carved out surface over here and a strange little triangular object on top of it. Also in line with the center of that uh, dark spot over there. Yeah, we're looking at that piece. We'll be looking at that as well over here to the right. This is about five by eight meters in size, and uh, it's got a shape of a shield. Not that it is a shield, guys, but check that out. Symmetry and geometry in that piece. And in its center, got those two smaller protrusions or knobs. And then again, We've got uh, a triangle going on there. This piece is about five meters by five meters in size and uh, three smaller parts on top and each one's the same size and uh, arranged in a perfect triangle. And then this piece, who knows what that is? Um, it's got like a disc shape to it, which is about uh, 10 to 15 meters across and uh, it's like something sandwiched inside it like two discs with something uh, inside also elevated off the surface now what could this be I don't even know what to, to make of that there's that other craft-like object I featured in the previous video. Yeah, we'll be zooming in on uh, this over here. Yeah, that's about um, 10 by 10 meters. And it looks like a metallic plate sticking out there. That sharp edge. And then on top of it, two rectangular parts definitely elevated off the surface as well. I wonder if that's uh, some type of venting system. It's got some geometry and symmetry as well. 
those two openings are the same size. There's another one over here. A wreckage or debris perhaps. This was a long one folks. I hope you found it informative and interesting. Thanks for sticking with me to the end. Uh, this is part one. Part two might be a bit shorter. Let's see. But thanks for watching. I hope you found it informative and interesting. Take care everybody and be safe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.